Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Belt Paint. In this tutorial, we will be working on a commission piece for our lovely customer. We are super excited. It's gonna be a very bright and happy project. She wants um, this chest of drawers to match uh, her banana table. So stay with us if you would like to see the whole process because it's quite different and quirky, but with the same colors. So let's do it. Let's do it. We clean the piece with white lightning, but we do not have footage for this part because it's on our broken card. Either for this part where we prepare the sea spray with chocolate. Um, yeah, our um, card is at the doctor at the moment, so hopefully we will manage to at least save some of our content from there. So I applied the texture all over the piece, we let it dry for about 2 hours and then um, I started with Colonel Mustard on the top of the piece. So I picked up a small amount of paint and I layered it over the texture base using a really light hand. It's like a super duper heavy dry brushing where I don't have to wipe the excess paint on a piece of cloth. I wiped it straight on the piece where basically I want the paint to be more pigmented and full. The whole piece is like a combination of heavy dry brushing and just a um, little little blending. As you can see now, I apply the paint in like a V shape and then the next color the same because the blending in between will be just stunning and seamless. And that's it. Now let's apply the next color which is Florida Orange. Which I applied it in the same way as Colonel Mustard. But um, here we will do later a little cute blending on the corners. Um, wait and uh, see! I really love to layer the paint over the texture as it's really easy to create like a super rustic and quite grungy look. The texture will pick up the paint while leaving some spots of the color underneath so nicely revealed. Love it! Oh, and here is the blending part where I applied a bit of Colonel Mustard, some Florida Orange and I made sure to have my brush damp a little bit to move the colors easily. Now I applied terracotta, our last color, but not really. After we sent the progress picture to our customer, she said that she would like the bottom part to be more of a vibrant orange. We thought and thought what color to make. And after mixing a few paints, we came up with um, this nice color made of Bun Red, Peony and Florida Orange. But we won't show you this um, part, just uh, letting you know. We are uh, sticking to terracotta here in this video.
I really wanted the handles gold, but it wouldn't be too visible on these colors. So I did like shadows slash drips on them. I watered them down, I dabbed some chocolate, I used my finger to help the paint move and just fade the harsh edges. And then I applied the golden gilding wax and it looks amazing. On the drawer side we did the color wash with pure ocean. We mixed paint with some water until we got this thick but runny consistency and applied it on the drawer, wiped it with a piece of cloth and that's it. Not really that's it because we are going to apply this sunflower transfer on all the drawer sides. Exciting, it's becoming such a sunny happy piece. Apply it, then rub it with the stick provided in the transfer box and look at this. Also make sure to rub the edges with the finishing pad from Dixie Pad. We seal the drawer size with 3 layers of gator hide and the whole piece with hemp seed oil. As this piece will be in the kitchen and the natural hemp oil is food safe and water resistant. We wipe the excess oil after 12 hours and we allow 2 days to cure. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new or it just inspired you in any way and if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time, bye!